We are on the last stretch of the combat diaries. Last video, we finished some of the most difficult Grandmaster tasks, being the top speedrun tasks. So that leaves me with a few random tasks from quest bosses, all the Tazar related tasks, and a few Theater of Blood tasks. We're going to work on getting Master Tier done so that I can use the 2x assigned Jad or Zuck on Slayer task perk to speed up the Fight Cave and Inferno tasks combat diaries. I have to do a few tasks for a variety of the remaining tasks to complete the Master and of course the Elites as well before the Master. So I will finish the random tasks that are for the quest bosses like Saren's Fragment and Glauve, etc. There's also a perfect Sarpus task and a bunch of tasks for the Tazar area that are Master and Elite tasks. Before this video starts rolling, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking the video and subscribing as we got more content coming out like Group Iron Man next, Race 3, that I will be covering them all very soon. Especially Group Iron Man, I'll be covering that within the next few days. Thanks. I decided I would go ahead and finish all the Jad challenges as it is relatively quick to do and can be done back to back no problem. Some of them were definitely challenging. The most challenging is finishing 5 Jad challenge and 6 Jad challenge back to back without dying. I thought I could do the first 6 and then do 5 after since that's easier but it doesn't work like that you have to do it from 5 to 6. That one took a while but it took a lot of repetitive practice to get used to flicking 6 Jads. The hardest part is flicking back and forth between mage and range attacks because the rhythm isn't even. When you flick a mage attack and then into a range attack for example, you have to flick to range immediately, protecting mage after one tick. I try my best to stay above 99 HP using anglers while all the jazz were alive, so that I can at least tank a full max hit if I mess up and not die. So there's a brief period from the first jab to the last jab where you have the longest breathing moment to eat up or tiger healer, etc. I definitely recommend bringing chains for the 6 and 5 jab tasks because it will let you mount the healer saving time. I was too lazy to catch him so I used the crossbow most of the time but that made it harder. Another difficult one was the 5 jab speed run task of under 5 minutes mainly because you need to flick well and also focus on fast kills which means not eating as much so less mistakes. I brought a Dragon Warhammer to reduce Jad's thick defense, which was very noticeable in helping speed up kills. Chins for mobbing healers and thralls for extra DPS. The rest of the Jad tasks weren't too hard with the Twisted Bow, the melee only tasks were probably the third hardest in general. Very uh, free? I decided to just bin using Swythe for the most part. Because uh, the blade is just perfect. Fortech weapon is just so nice. Alright, here we go. Oh, I forgot my mage cape. Oh well. You sacrifice everything. I think we're done. This is another free task. Yes. I should have brought more mage gear, though. Ah, uh, but it's, it doesn't even matter. CBA. Oh, I did it! Oh, never mind. That felt really slow, but um... I made it by a second. We're good. We're good. <laughs> oh no. Dang it. Tebow. Ah, Claws, you trolled me. I don't know if I made the time. Oh, I did. A chance though. Like once or twice. But I actually did it. Thanks. Not bad. That wasn't too bad. Okay. Okay. Run over. Yes. Okay. It's safe. We're safe. We're chilling. Okay. I accidentally took the headbutt, but we should be okay. I wouldn't even have minded if it took two tries, but yay! That's uh, that's another task done, and uh, that means we are done with the six chance. Cool. I did the 6 strat challenge officially, right? So I can actually... Can I transmog this? How do you transmog this? Oh, there it is. Ah, there's the metamorphic. Ooh, ooh boy, we got it. Yo, that's sick. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. I like this. I gotta prepare some chins for the upcoming fight caves tasks and inferno tasks. Alright. Rev Tully come in handy. 
straight to the chin spot. Someone's already here. Yay! 200 chins, guys, without getting uh, attacked. This is a miracle. And now we do this. Come on. 30 wilderness. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Damn, red chins is just so much easier, man. I love this. Gonna use these for the practice or like the uh, slower times for the fight caves and the inferno. So it's gonna be nice. <gasps> oh, I got it! Fuck yes, dude. Drake's tooth. Oh my god, I'm so glad I did this task. I'm so glad I took a detour. Hell yeah, boys, we got it. Yeah, what is what is it called? The devotion boots. Two thousand three hundred sixty nine. Oh man, I almost went five x dry. Oh my god, this grind, uh, this passive grind has been ongoing for so long that I forgot the original plan of this. The plan was to do a lot of medium clues for the holy sandals after I got the tooth, but I really don't have time. So I'll probably save that in the back burner for when I come back and there's um, more free time. No, I don't want to, I don't want this task again, no way. Oh, cave cracking, perfect. Done. Okay, we're gonna finish up cave cracking now. Which will contribute towards the elite slash master uh, completion. I wanted to get the. Oh, what the frick! <laughs> it still says I've never got a tentacle or trident. Come on. It is yes, one hundred tentacles. Thank you very much. Ah, there it is. Ah, finally. Oh yes, finally. Ah, uh, all right, let's do this. I need a Zuck task to do a master. Get the master done, so I guess we'll do this. 10 days is really fast. Okay, I bought 7,000 blood runes. The first time I've had to buy blood runes since that video I made where I bought like, I don't know, 50k or something, 100k or something. At the uh, Abyss dude. Mm. Alrighty, so we're bringing a pretty moderate setup here. <clears throat> decent amount of Bruce, decent amount of restores. I'm bringing the uh, Crystal Armor with Bofa just because I, I am going to use it for the no date challenge in the future. So I'm trying to get some practice for that. Don't really need it for this particular task, but practice for future stuff. Uh, and yeah, of course, Tebow, right? We're going to do the three chat challenge, <laughs> not the ACB challenge. We're going to get this no pillar fallen task, the basic one done real quick. Okay, what I'll do is this. Alright, which one is alive so I can inspect this guy? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yes. Oh, sweet. Only 55% spec. That's so nice. Yes. Ah, no, no, no. no. Don't go there. Don't go there. I do like this extra range, man. It's so chill. Oh, damn. This bow is so good on this melee guy. Jeez. Look at this shit. I can also range it from this this distance. <laughs> oh my god, dude. They have both. Dude, it's such a quality of life for the Inferno, man. Basically, at this point, I, I ran out of time. So, so just doing it casually, I failed the Grandmaster Speed Task by around wave 64. So, that's fine, because I know where I can save a lot of time. So, so unlucky, dude. Come on, let me get the task. Yes, yes, yes. Screw you, mouse being a bitch. Okay, alright, that was rough, man. My mouse started acting up right on Zuck. But we did the uh, master task. And we also did the no luck required, so that's good. Because we did two tasks in one. I couldn't get the triple jab one done. Because my Tiva was like, no, I'm not going to hit. Yeah, I normally just gamble as soon as I get, but I, I think this time to motivate myself to get this shit done, I will finish all the Zuck stuff. And then whatever capes I end up getting, I'm just gonna gamble them all at once. So yeah, we will we will do that. We will do that. Nice. Melee jad done. I gotta bring the Venge, but honestly, I don't even know if it worked. But almost done with the Masters. What's left? Just the Zarpus. Oh, the 30 minute task, which I'll try to do with the Slayer task. 
All right, so before I go ahead and try to finish up the master, it's actually a good idea to do the lead first, so. These are bosses that don't really belong in a, a list in this category, so yeah, <laughs> I forgot about them, but pretty easy, Demonic Grill attacks, Demon Bane. Three minute Galvic, pretty easy. Two and a half minutes, Glauf. I'm just gonna assume they're all pretty easy. Four minute Fragments of Serum, pretty easy, I guess. Oh, yes, there we go. Easy. Next. There we go. That's, uh. That should really get this boss down to, like, some really low uh, defense. Damn, the Scythe is just destroying it now. Damn, 255. First try with uh, melee. Yep. Scythe is OP, especially with the BGS doing the work there. Ooh, 235 on our second try. Not bad. Yeah, the claws were nice. Helped a bit. Oh, yes, it was. Perfect. Perfect. Let's uh, get ourselves the elite tier. Real fast. Yo, yes, we got a Jatas. Let's go. Sweet. Okay, I'm really close to getting the Masters done. We just have to do this sub 30 for Jad, and then one more uh, top task. Perfect Sarpus. And we can uh, get the Master tier, which is really important for the double Jads and Zuxa. We are going to do the 30 minute fight caves. Probably not too hard, but I do want to take this a bit more seriously because I got to prepare for the 26 minute one. So this is going to be uh, kind of like a practice, you know, to go fast using the rotation map, getting used to the rotation map and all that stuff. So, all right, wait 46, 17 minutes with uh, red chins. <laughs> scouting, getting, reading the scouting map is still really annoying. Alright, so on this try, on this first, um, I guess, speedrun attempt, we got 27.35 with Retchin. So next time, maybe a few more runs, I don't know. Oh, sweet, we just finished the Master Task. Yay! Well, that helps untilt a bit for, uh, you know, for the perfect top, but that's nice. At least... Alright. Wow, that's crazy. Two combat tiers in uh, one day. That's pretty sick, though. We got the master tier done, which is super big on finishing the rest of these tasks. Because, as I've already mentioned quite a few times, just in case, you know, we're talking about it again. When you get assigned a Jad or a Zuck, you get assigned a kill two instead of one. All right, we just got a Jad task. Excuse me, I got hiccups right now, but look, it should say two. Yes, your new task is to kill two jets. Hell, hell yeah, man. That's going to be so good. After getting the master done, it was all about getting Jad tasks for the 2x assigned fight cave. So I can finish up all of those fight cave tasks as nice and easy as possible. Slayer tasks for these are so huge because everything will just go by faster. And the speedrun tasks require being on task anyways. A good amount of fight caves are actually quite challenging even though it's perhaps one of the easiest bosses nowadays. The 26 minute speedrun Grandmaster task is a force to be reckoned with as you really need to know the core nuances of speedrunning fight caves. Essentially there are specific spawn rotations that you can get in the fight caves and there's resources on the wiki that helps with this. But I can pick a rotation and know exactly where things will spawn each wave. Rotation 5 was my pick for speedrunning. It was really important to not miss it to make sure I kite to the right spots to prepare for the next wave. I also used a lot of chins to mob bats, blobs, and sometimes other NPCs together to save time. I blowpipe everything but the majors and Jad and I use crossbow to get early hits if I'm far away from a mob into the blowpipe. Ooh, whoop! 25-23, hell yeah, let's get it. Nice. Ah, sweet. Damn, we killed it too with over a minute left. And the uh, Jad was pretty troll, to be honest, but... Okay, I guess I tanked like 5-6 hits from Jad Poggers, but... 
Yeah, damn, what a PB, bro. We went from 27 minutes to 25, 23. Okay. Mm. Oh, shit. That, that brings us to 400, though. Oof, that's crazy. The other really hard task was the no prayer during fight caves. Oh, my days. That was a nerve-wracking task. I took it so slow because all it takes is one dumb mistake and it is over. First attempt, I got nervous and instantly failed as my prayer dropped, just doing my normal muscle memory prayer flicking. I had to constantly remind myself to lazy flick and not do anything crazy with prayer flicks. This also has a strategy involved knowing your rotations. I picked rotation 2 for this challenge as my friend Love Lily did this task with it and she made a really nice infographic to show where to best stand for each rotation wave. I'll have that link in the description as she's happy to share this. The hardest waves were definitely the waves where the spawns couldn't be trapped super easily, so I had to position myself in a way that can trap moths behind each other. Sometimes I'd rather tank a mage hit than risk losing a prayer point. Okay, Venge, I'm gonna do it. What? They're still... Oh, they respawned. Yes! We did it, though. I had a feeling the healers were gonna respawn because uh, it was back to full health, but it didn't matter because got a time that Venge paid off. It's been a long, long journey, but just theater and the rust is uh, inferno. Alright, what's next? Yes! I got a Zug task already. Man, these go by quick. Hell five, nice. One teleport for the day. Cool. How many teleports do I get? Like three, I'm guessing. Last task remaining was the Inferno task and the Perfect Theater task. For the Inferno task, I made sure to be on Slayer task because of the insane Slayer Helm benefits with the Master Rank perk. All of these remaining ones are definitely a cause for concern or causes because I don't do the sweaty infernos. I just do them safely and nicely and that's it. Let's just say like at least 50% of the infernal tasks are in my opinion pretty ass. The ones I felt were pretty reasonable, I did them first of course. I did the no Tebow inferno using the fur nimbo and I strung the triple jad in 30 second tasks and the no melee dig task together. The Inferno Nimbo is so strong at the Inferno, it almost felt like using a Twisted Bow on the Majors and Zuck. Definitely not as strong, but oh my goodness, it felt real close. Basically, if you want to experience a T-Bow Inferno for hundreds of mils cheaper, then you have the option to do so now. A good tip is to let the melee guys hit you if it's easy for you to prayer flick them, because it'll stop them from digging. It's extra scary because they start digging faster after the first slow dig Let's go. Okay. Dang, that's rough, but I did a task though. 49? 9 HP? Come on. Come on. Oh, just in time. Damn. Wow, this is actually really, really fast. <laughs> Holy shit. I killed Zug with one set. Ah, oh, three tasks in one in one go. That's good, that's good. Only six more to go. Alright, I'm gonna take a little break for Inferno before I go back in. God damn. Yay! Finally a Zug task. Let's go. Sweet. Ah, uh, just have how many Zug tasks? Five, so. <laughs> oh man. We're gonna have to do more than three of these tasks to be able to get this done for sure. Well, 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 well. Best of luck on uh, whichever two I end up doing next. Next task I did was the melee only Inferno and that one looked hard, but it really wasn't that hard. Especially if you bought a Blood Fairy with you and you can still use Ancient Magics to heal and freeze for this task. A four tick melee weapon like the Blade of Saildor or the Grassy Rapier is super good for the melee only inferno because you can kite the major and the ranger and flick your prayer at the same time without losing any prayer points as you can see. The most annoying thing about this task is probably the bats because they drain your run like crazy as you have to kill them up close. Also the ways where the major shows up are dramatically slower as I'm forced to wait for them to physically reach the side of the pillar 
so I could kill the mages while keeping other mobs safe spotted. <gasps> yeah, I want to get the major there. Yes, get get over here. Now I want. I just want. <gasps> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. What? Abyssal demons. Damn it, dude. Oh, I got it. Let's go. Oh my god, I got the Zuck-Tass again. Redemption round, redemption round. There was a lot of SGS milking, but the chance of dying was very low since I'm wearing super high defense gear as long as I focus on making sure I prayed against the Major. Dude, so unlucky. Okay, that should do it. Oh god, that took forever, man. This task was terrible. Oh god, at least I got one done today. Here we go. Good luck. <laughs> Hopefully I can get this done in one try. I really hope so, because, man, getting these Slayer tasks is super uh, annoying, so. Next task I did after was the No Mage Inferno. This task was definitely as hard as I thought, because I couldn't freeze the Nibblers, and that means my players were going to take way more damage. But I made sure to kill them as a priority up until late 40s because after 40s, the spawns are a little too much and I need to focus on surviving. And at that point, I can let the nibblers do some extra damage on the pillars and it's okay. Lots of SGS milking in this one because you do take so much more damage. So you really need to conserve your supplies by specking and healing. And there's also a very high chance of dying on the later ways because I'm with my range gear so I can, you know, kill things with my chin properly. And yeah, it's just, it's just rough with them just running away. You're going to have to just try to flick better. Man. Okay, this is actually really hard because I can't freeze anything. <laughs> so I have to take it slow or else I'm going to have to start using bruise because I'm already using bruise. Yeah, this is going to be uh, one of those take it easy and milk SGS or risk not having enough supplies. Oh, god damn, bro. Oh, no. Oh, god. Damn, this wave sucked. I used so many brews. Alright, that should do it. Oh, god. Nibbler chaser task done. Jesus Christ. Two hours. Terrible, man. That was a terrible task. God damn. Ah, uh, four more to go. Three more Zuck tasks. Uh, and these three are annoying. This one, the no 50 HP one. God. Next task was the infernal speed run of 65 minutes and Jad skipping at Zuck. They definitely belong together as Jad skipping is a standard speed running strategy. This task was definitely my biggest concern because speed running so far in combat diaries has been a massive pain in the ass. But luckily, it's not a group task. I watched a full 60 minute speedrun example by Adicon beforehand, which helped a lot and took some good tips from my boy a cold one as well. And then I went for it. I decided actually to not use chins because I'm just so not used to it and I feel like it just get in the way. And the example video did not use chins and they still got way under 60. So yeah, I might as well just stick to ancients since I'm familiar with that. This task was so stressful as well in reality because there's no breaks whatsoever, which I normally would take plenty. My supplies were dwindling down a lot faster than ever, and I was super concerned about it after the first 30 waves already. The waves 50s to like 63 was a massive sketch fest as you aggressively try to kill everything as fast as you can and take more precise flicking to dodge damage. It definitely put my prayer flicking to the test. I made a good amount of mistakes, which cost me quite a lot of food. And I only brought five brews to begin with because I have to use so much more prayer on speedruns. I had to slow down a bit from 64 just before Jazz, as I had to conserve a bit of more of my supplies for the Zuck. The next hard part was, of course, Zuck. I haven't had such low supplies going to Zuck since never. Minion spawn was rough because the ranger destroyed me, but luckily I still had enough bruise to survive that. I saw the time was decent, and I felt like if I did a jazz skip and I did it right, I would actually have a shot to get sub-65 right then and there. So the motivation was crazy, I had to go for it. 
Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna try to skip it. Okay. I can't, I can't. I have to uh, keep my range bot up. No! Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Okay. Oh! Yo! First try! Oh! What? 22 seconds? Oh my god, dude. We fucking game tonight. <laughs> oh my god. God, first try, dude. I think I tanked the jab hit though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my god. Ooh. Boom, 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 boom. Oh god, I'm terrible at this. I'm better at the inferno than freaking beehives. Oh yes, new item. Hell yeah. Finally, it was time to finish up perfect theater tasks. I've been working on and off for the past two weeks on this task, and by far, this is the most annoying task ever because you couldn't make any mistakes with six rooms straight and your teammates mistakes counted for yours as well the best team size for this is definitely three mainly because sarpus extreme swans are really rng in other team sizes and hard to reach i basically had to learn new ways to tackle each room to emphasize the idea of playing it maximally safe maiden was just taking it slow and making sure you were ready to freeze a bit earlier and freezing bloods and killing them in the early stages of the fight Blow was going for 3 downs instead of 2 to avoid quakes. Nilo was definitely the most tricky because there's a lot of things to misclick on. Before Nilo starts to change colors, I would right click as much as possible to make sure I don't misclick. However, the later half when Nilo can change colors, your right clicking can still fail you. So I would make sure to only go for crabs that just entered. Any crab that's been on the pillar and I didn't keep track of, I would not mess with them and let them explode. Left clicking was okay if there weren't too many crabs clumped together. Dark Beast, we had two people bow in the back and one guy mailing at the front. And we take 8 the big energy balls and this formation meant no balls would bounce to other players ever. Sarpis was sketchy as hell because Exhumes can be stupid far from anybody. So the best thing we could do is constantly move in a triangle formation and pre-move to get ready for the next spawn. We would adjust to whoever gets the last Exhumed. After exhumed phase, we range from the back as it's way safer than meleeing as you have a lot more time to kind of see where the yellow poison's coming from just in case. Versic is mostly the same except for phase 2 of Versic and crab spawns in phase 3. I would pre-switch your mage gear and anticipate crabs and freeze them before they could get close to us. We would also save full claws for 20% so that we could avoid the green ball mechanic by dumping in consistent high DPS. I'm just gonna chill to be honest. I got the green. I'll get the blue, I'll get the blue. Alright, just wait for them to pop. Just wait for them to pop. Sweet. We also do not kill the purple crab because if the purple is alive, no more new crabs can spawn during phase 2. Third hit. Okay, fourth hit. I'm just gonna pre I'm gonna get ready to freeze, okay? I got the east. Sweet, okay. Okay, stall for yellow, stall for yellow. Yep, yep. Watch out, I might switch tanks, so careful. Yeah. Uh, all middle, all middle, all middle.
Oh, we did it. Oh. Please say we did it, dude. This task sucks. I hate this task. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Awful task. Awful task, bro. Why would you put such a thing in, in this in this man? Oh, my days. Oh, we're, we're done. Oh my god. I hate this task, dude. Nice. Another item to the collection log. Oh, dark bow, and somehow that's a collection log item. Even though I've gotten like 20 of these in the past or some shit, but yeah. All right, so the plan is uh, during the 50 plus waves, I'm going to just freeze with full bandos on in LA just because I don't want that ranger to hit me. I don't want that blob to hit the range on me. So this will be like the nastiest defense that I can do while still being able to freeze, no problem. Look, I still have plus one magic somehow, so. That's quite nice. And yeah, this time we can take it real, real slow. No jazz skipping, none of that crap. Just go for safe, brew like crazy, and life is good. The last task for me is the no below 50 HP Inferno. I almost had it the night before at the perfect theater, but I messed up on wave 63 with a bad spawn. I should have just camped Prey Mage and ran down south and brewed to retrap everything. But yes, it's the last task and also the last suck to get the Suck Star Helmet and complete the combat achievements once and for all. Eldritch Staff is so amazing for these kind of tasks where focusing on supplies is super important. Eldritch just keeps my prayer going for so long as it can heal up to 30s for prayer. So I focused on bringing more brews this time. Because once wave 50 hits, I want to be 115 HP every upcoming wave. Because the Major and Rangers both spawn. The Ranger can hit 45, I believe, so as long as I am 99 HP or higher, I can take at least one hit. But I wore full Banos and Ellie to start the later wave so I can tank Ranger hits and keep my Mage Purr on longer. If a Major or Jad hits me once, it's a good chance that my HP goes below 50, so 115 HP reduces the chance of that happening even if I were to make a mistake, which I made quite a few. Oh god, that's, that's a bad spawn, but luckily full Banos and Ellie came through. Oh, this is good for this task. I can kill the ranger first and take a lot less damage. Oh, jeez, just made it. Oh my god, I couldn't hit there for a second. Ah, that was bad luck on there. Okay, I'm just gonna chill until my uh, my spec bar is kind of you know a bit higher, so I can use the heals for the healers. Cause right now the timer is paused, so nothing is against me because it's frozen right now. So, oh, okay. Oh yes, let's go. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Fucking done. Freedom. Freedom, bro. Freedom. Oh, we're fucking done, guys. Oh god, that, that shit's over. I'm done with the stupid combat diarrheas. I mean, combat achievements. Ah, uh, it's over. Shit game. I mean, awesome game. Lovely game. Love this game. Shout Jagex. Oh my god, we're freaking free. We're free. I can't believe that lag almost did us dirty though, but oh my days. Okay, you gotta stop making me wear, my, wear this party hat, dog. <laughs> oh man, chanced a few times, I'm not gonna lie chance a few times uh, on the ways but 
Uh, we did do the procedure. We brewed up every wave, you know, past 50. I think I've completed a combat tier. Yes. Oh, which tier have you done? I've completed all the Grandmaster achievement tasks. Hummel? It's Hummels? Okay, it's Hummel. All right, all right, guys. We got official intel. It's Hummel. Mr. Hummel's gonna give us... Wait, really? Yeah, it took quite a long time. It really did. It took like two to three months or some shit. Some of those tasks were extremely challenging, but I persevered and finished them all. And also bullshit. You have come very far. You have earned these rewards. Oh, snap. There you go. I provided you with our most prestigious ancient sword hilts. You'll also have increased max quantities offered when given boss slayer tasks, including the deadly Tazar creatures and have to kill even fewer goers mains to access the generals. Uh, okay, that's cool. Plus, you'll even get more common cube keys. Really good for Amadou. Access to even cheaper private Godwars dungeon rooms. And yes, I can also customize your Slayer Helm even more. I do wonder what you'll do now. Good luck, Adventure World. Well, we got the Hilt 6, and we can customize the Slayer Helm. So, um, how do, how do I do this? Do I use this on him? Does this work? Can you customize one of my Slayer Helmets? Ooh, you got the Jad, you got the Vitter, and you got the Zuck. I should just make them all, you know? I should just make them all, shouldn't I? Oh, there it is. This one is not imbued, though, so... I should probably imbue it, huh? But yeah, here it is, boys. The 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 Zuck helmet. Ooh, look at that. It looks not too bad, you know. Of course, now that I have it, I can't I can't talk too too bad about the looks, you know. But it is pretty it is pretty crazy. It's a pretty crazy helmet. I ain't gonna lie. I do kind of wish the helm the horns was a little bit less crazy. All right, let's go and gamble the capes, boys. We have six. This is pretty cool. Wait, what's my total Inferno KC? I must have gotten a lot of KC. Wow, I'm actually at 28 Inferno KC. Here we go, here we go. First cape. Oh, of course. Never lucky. Second cape. Second cape. Okay, number two. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Number two is nothing. All right, third time's a charm. Third time's a charm, boys. Here we go. Yes. No. All right. Okay, number four. Let's go. God damn, boys. We can't get lucky on this. I don't think we can get lucky. Number five. Here we go. Number five. Here we go. Lucky number five? Lucky number five is not true. Come on. Come on, bro. Here we go. Oh, dude. I wish, man. Imagine how sick that would be, bro. Imagine how sick that would be. God damn, dude. Oh, yo, that's crazy. Oh, that's actually sick. Okay. Okay, I, I thought I was gonna waste this. Alright, so... So you can actually swap your... Your imbued black mask, even though you've cosmetically changed it? That's insane, dude. I, I thought I would 100% lose it or something, but... Okay, well, that's uh, an imbued helm without me having to do that result. So. so, you must be asking, what's next? Well... And literally in a few hours, Group Iron Man is going to be out. And I already have a team with uh, Mr. Mutz from Twitch and Fuse from Twitch and YouTube to do a Group Iron Man together, hardcore Group Iron Man. We're going to be doing PVM Rush. So yeah, if you see this video, we're probably uh, streaming that on the daily for a while. And we'll see how far we can go. Definitely going to go to Chambers, of course. Um, also, Leagues is coming out in... A month from now so i'm gonna be definitely on leagues so i'll be back on mr iron bar for leagues and then after that it's gonna be next yes we're gonna bring back the next boss from the original runescape to here we don't know exactly what will drop yet but definitely gonna be for mr iron bar and also race three at the beginning of this year so mr iron bar is gonna be back for that as well so yeah this character is really only going on break for a very short amount of time i'll probably do a bang video i'll probably do a video talking about all the upcoming updates at some point but yeah, make sure to like the video you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new because we have videos coming out every single week for a while. And it's going to be fresh content for days. All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys very soon.